Yo, what's going on guys? It's Buzz Bane here and welcome to an unboxing today. Today we're going to be unboxing uh, this laptop, this beast. Uh, this is the MSI GS63 VR 7RF, whatever configuration. It's basically the latest uh, Stealth Pro. And this is the best buy configuration. So it comes with the specs that you'll see right there. Um, you want to look at them. Uh, note, uh, I don't remember if the SSD was... Uh, running at PCI speeds or uh, SATA speeds, but whatever the case, let's get into it. So, let's see here. We're gonna do run a, some more benchmarks. We're gonna run some benchmarks later on, but anyway, this has always been my favorite part of any laptop. Just unbox the entire thing. Look at that beauty. Well, okay. Anyway, let's get into the little inside here. The box is just, I love the box. Okay, let's put this away. Door keeps it opening and closing, guys. So, in here, it's just, uh, I don't know, this is basically just uh, contacts, information, stuff like that. Like, you don't really get to that. Let's first open up in here, see what's in here. What are is in here? Oh, my dudes. Okay, so this is the power supply. This is the uh, cord to the power supply. Here it is. The laptop itself. It's actually not that, that heavy. It's actually pretty light. Uh, let's put that aside, actually. Open this up. We have the... These, oh, so these are all, so this is all the drivers and stuff, all bundled up. I guess there's no driver in here. I guess there's no CD, which is strange for a laptop, but, well, so if you guess if you don't have internet, you're basically screwed unless the CD's in here. Now, this is where the power brick is. I believe that, I've heard that it's a pretty hefty power brick. Ooh, that's actually pretty big. I'm not gonna lie. Like, look at that. This feels as heavy as the Xbox 360 power brick. Just why, right? Oh, come on. Uh, why is this? Why am I so bad at unboxings? I'm literally shit at these. Anyway, that's it. And let's open the laptop here. Oh, it comes in this really nice sleek. Is that uh, sleeve comes in this really nice sleeve and box? There's the laptop itself. Now, I will say that this thing is actually pretty light. I'm not gonna lie. Like for for a laptop this thin, this is pretty light. You can see here. That's fine. Let's first remove the the same tail. And there it is, the laptop itself. So you can see here the logo. Um, uh, the UI is right here, 3 USB uh, Ethernet, which is going to be really nice. Uh, SD cards, uh, uh, I believe this is Kingston locked. Uh, and these are the USB. Uh, USB on the side, Thunderbolt. It's basically a basic UI. I don't think you need to know that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to run some benchmarks later on. I'm going to open here. There's the laptop. <sighs> High res audio. Now, I do not know, remember if this has a subwoofer or not. I'll probably put that in the below. Uh, can't wait to hear how this thing sounds and stuff. Yeah, here's the laptop. Now we're gonna run some benchmarks right about now. All right, guys, so we are currently in Black Ops 3. Now, unlike, you know, a lot of other, this is probably not the best game to benchmark it, but since I'm a huge zombie player, I just wanna see how well I'm gonna play playing zombies because I play the crap ton of this mode in Black Ops 3, there's no doubt. So, we're here, I'm gonna see here. We're trying going for high for right now. I might bump up texture quality. Yeah, screw it, we'll do extra for right now. Um, uncapped, I mean like, not really uncapped, but up to 120, which should be all right. Uh, which is the most intensive map that we can try this out on? Let's try Origins since that one, let's, try, let's see if it can run Glitches 2.0. Or uh, what is it, Glitch? Uh, let's play Glitches the video game. 
glitches and crashes uh, the zombies map. Now the thing is, I have not played Origins on at least on this, so it's gonna be interesting. Uh, her, currently, we are hovering in the 70s and stuff, and on these the settings that I have at least, it's running at 70 FPS. Not bad. Now you can hear the the, the fan really ramping up right now, I'm trying to keep itself cool. I'm trying to keep itself cool from the uh, excessive heat. I think it's gonna be it's gonna get even worse when we get into the uh, the outside. Hopefully it snows so we can see if the weather will crash the game. Because that's been a huge issue with Origins on PC. Okay, let's see here. Overall, I'm in, I'm overall impressed by this uh, this laptop and. You know, to be like, if it honestly feels a lot cooler than I expected. Like I thought it was gonna be blazing hot, and at, yes, it does get a bit hot. Uh, it pr probably will get hot, but as of right now, and like, but it's not like as of right now. And I guess for for future uh, uses, it's not as hot as I expected it to be, at least, which is nice. We might do Overwatch uh, next, so let's let's do that next time. Let's do that after that. Let's not die here. We gotta go outside. Okay. Oh, it's 60 FPS. That's not bad. 80. Okay. Weather just changed. Man, look, just seeing this out of a laptop. I've never because I've never owned a gaming laptop, nor have I played anything like this uh, on a screen this small. So. This is like something. So now I can play Origins on the bus ride. I can grind in Origins on the bus ride. Just that this thing might get really, really loud, so I better put on headphones. And it might annoy some people as well. Shit. Man. Overall, this is. I've been impressed. I've been impressed now. Obviously, because of the graphics card. But overall, I'm impressed. So, let's get into Overwatch. Alright, guys. So we are in Overwatch right now. And let me. So I can show you the options right here. So you can see, we basically have everything on Ultra, uncapped FPS. Um, you know, basics, basic stuff. Um, well, I mean, mostly Ultra. Um, or at least that what the game is called Ultra, so. Like, I still cannot get past this fan noise, but we'll, we'll see how it goes in the play once we actually play a game. Overall, we're hovering in the 130, uh, 120, 130 range of FPS. We'll get, we'll probably once we cap the first point, we'll see how, let's see how grab, let's see how intensive this is. I, I know Overwatch is not an intensive game, but I'm a big fan of Twitch shooters, so Overwatching zombies is really what I always play. So I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's that fan. That's extremely loud. And of course, 76. Note to self, dude. My yo, my my. How's that? How you doing, my bugs? Got absolutely no one. How you doing, my bug? How you doing, Eva? Ah, that's how you do it. Though that was some really bad sniper plays. I think that's gonna conclude the benchmark though. Hope you guys enjoy this little video of me unboxing this uh, this laptop. Super excited to continue using this. Simply because, you know, I can't carry my PS4 everywhere I go. And I would, I've been using a Dell Latitude for like the past like few hundred years. Like a few like years, so it's nice having this. Especially for CAD in college, it's gonna be nice. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.